What's new with persistent save data? Well, you can now save to the cloud. How you save the data and retrieve it, it's up to you, but we provide a system. So we add in our persistent rest, give a URL to save it to, and a URL to get the information. Okay, and what's backing this and a field data? So this is particularly important, the name. So I have a simple get file here that's just going to echo out some information, right? This is uh, information that will be sent to you. And I have my set. This is going to save the information in my database. This doesn't save it. It just echoes it back out to me. But the name of the field here is the same name you're going to be using um, to get the information from the, the post request. Okay. So now that I've added on this component, let's go ahead and press play before we actually use it. Okay, so every time I collect one of those, I get 10 points. Oops, ooh, ooh, cool. Okay, press play again. The, da the data persists. That's the, okay. So now we're gonna get the data to populate this field from the get file I just showed you so we're gonna request this data be be um put into our persistent reference okay so we add our script uh, persistent notification and I've explained this in other videos we reference our notification um, we reference the persistent reference here in our notification so we can reference anyone we're going to say after the data is saved, go to our persistent rest component and request data. So when we touch one of these, we're going to um, pull in all our data. Or I think it's probably we'll do it on load. So let's check that out. Okay, so 30 points, and here's my points that I we have in our get file here, 5,501. So that's how you can get information uh, and save it to the cloud with persistent save data.